Hey Capricorn, welcome to Awaken Blue Heart Tarot. For those that are new, my name is Danielle. And for those who are returning, hey guys. I hope everybody's been doing great. So this is going to be your reading for the second half of November. So before we get started, I um, just want to say this is a general reading. So if you find that it doesn't resonate for you, please check your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign videos. Whew. All right, guys. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> before we jump into it, I just want to say thank you for all the likes, shares, comments, subscriptions. You guys, I love you all. You're amazing. Just thank you, thank you, thank you for the love. All right, guys. So, yeah, let's go ahead and jump into it. See what's going on for Capricorn. Second half of November. All right. Here we go. Let's see what's going on. You have this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Past life relationship. You have known each other before. Okay. Last card. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Hmm, okay. Capricorn is looking good. Looking good so far. So whoever you guys are dealing with, definitely soulmate, possible twin flame situation. You know, regardless to whoever it is, this is someone that you dealt with in a past life. So even though you feel like things are not working out in your favor, um, I do feel like your ancestors, your spirits are blocking this right now because maybe someone could be you or the other person. They need to take care of something on their end. So divine timing is definitely at play here. So it's just asking you to be patient. I know y'all like, I'm tired of being patient. I'm, I'm tired. <laughs> But, yeah, there's a reason. Something's probably going on behind the scenes. So, yeah, just have to wait. Unfortunately, just have to wait. But I feel like it will all work out at the end. All right, Capricorn. So, let's see. All right, here we go. Bottom of the deck. You have the Empress in reverse. So, this is telling me that some of you guys feel like you're not going to have a new beginning with someone or with the situation. But the Ten of Pentacles is here. So it's like you guys want happiness. Maybe somebody's content with their finances. But I do feel like happiness is coming for you guys. But somebody needs to make a decision here. Clarify judgment for Capricorn, please. Okay. Mm, back and forth energy. Nine of Pentacles. Okay. So it's like one minute you guys have a peace of mind about the situation. Could be pertaining to this person. The next minute you don't. Maybe somebody's stressing out about their finances, but honestly, I'm feeling more so it's, it's about this other individual. And there you guys are. Capricorn. Some of you guys could be dealing with another Capricorn. But if not, I'm honestly picking up that you guys are just like fearing something here. Let's see. Clarify the devil. Let's see what's going on. Temperance. Somebody could be dealing with a Sagittarius here, but I do feel like you guys are just wanting balance in your life. But they're saying that there is a new beginning coming. I told you, I feel like something good is coming for you guys. So let's see. Clarify the Ace of Wands, please, for Capricorn. Y'all are over there like, yes. <laughs> let's see. There's a new beginning coming, but I do feel like, you know, it's just taking its time. It's moving really slow. I feel like somebody wants to say something to you guys. Maybe you want to say something to the other person, but they're just holding back for some reason. Um, also, guys, you know, this can go vice versa. So just take it however it fits. I do feel like this person, I feel like this person is watching you. Somebody's spying. If it's not you, Capricorn, this person is definitely keeping a close eye on you because they want this new beginning. Maybe they don't want you to, you know, stray away, start talking to someone else. Yeah, they're keeping a close eye on you because, again, they don't want you to walk away is what I'm picking up. But I do feel like somebody walked away from the, the other individual here. Let's see. Clarify the Eight of Cups. I feel like somebody cut off communication. Somebody just blocked someone. So let's see what's going on. Yeah, someone didn't have confidence in the situation, so they just, they, they bounced. Y'all like, uh-uh. I do feel like this person wants to come in to give you an apology, though. But you're looking at the situation like I don't see it improving. 
somebody could be dealing with a Gemini here, but there's definitely some type of imbalance in this love situation. But you guys are taking it day by day. I do feel like every day you're getting stronger here. And again, look at that Ten of Cups. There is happiness coming. Someone, it's like you guys want to be happy with this person. Um, this person wants to be happy with you or, you know, maybe you guys just want to have a fresh start. But let's see. All right, that's a lot of back and forth energy here. So I have the Fool and the Three of Cups. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. Hold on a second. Let me see. Clarify the Three of Cups. Honestly, I feel like it's like one minute you guys want to take a leap towards this person because you really do care about this person. <sighs> Somebody could be dealing with a Virgo as well. But on the flip side, I do feel like you guys are not taking a leap because maybe this person put you in some type of third party situation. And at this point, you're isolating yourself from them because they hurt you. You're tired of it. Somebody's worried here. Clarify the four swords for Capricorn. Somebody's worried here. I feel like somebody's throwing themselves into their work, maybe trying to get the situation off their mind. But this person could actually come back in wanting to tell you that they're ready to put in the work to fix the situation. They want a relationship with you. They want a commitment with you. Look at that. King of Pentacles. Somebody could be dealing with an earth sign, another Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. But again, I'm telling y'all, this person wants an actual commitment. Like, they're ready. I feel like for those of you that walked away from this individual, it's like they now see, okay, what was I doing? I want him. I want her. Like, they're ready to come back and give you the commitment that you deserve. Let's see. Yeah, somebody's looking for stability here. Maybe they're coming back in wanting to offer you this commitment and this offer has stability with it, you know? You could be dealing with an Aries, but yeah, this person is like a boss. This could be representing you, Capricorn, but honestly, I'm feeling like this person is not playing games anymore. Tell me more. Okay, just want to slide right here. King of Wands in reverse. So, oh, hold on, y'all. Y'all know when my eyes catch something, I, we gotta we gotta bring it here. Okay, y'all see there are two kings here. So. Definitely third party situation, in my opinion, if somebody's in the middle and they were needing to make a decision, I do feel like, honestly, they did make a decision. They realize they want to be with you. And maybe, you know, again, they thought the grass was greener on the other side. I feel like the other person could have played them and they want to approach you, but maybe they're not. Look at that. Yeah, they're in some type of codependent situation. It's a codependent situation here. Somebody was just dealing with the other person for finances or there's some type of an addiction here. But I do feel like they know that they messed up and they want to come in to fix the situation with you. That's why now it's like they're trying to offer you the commitment that you deserve, but they're just not speaking up. I'm hearing definitely somebody got used for finances. Maybe it's this other person. Maybe they got a dose of their own medicine. They put you in a third-party situation and went off, you know, and chose this other person. And now they realize the person didn't really love or care about them. They just only wanted them for money. That's for some of y'all, but yeah. Somebody could be dealing with a Leo here. But it is asking you to have strength because there is definitely some communication coming in. And it's coming in fast, Capricorn. I do feel like you guys are you know healing you've been working on yourself you're coming out of feeling like this person stabbed you in the back so it's definitely somebody from your past but they're moving slow oh they move so slow taking their sweet time yeah this person wants to come correct but i feel like they just mm, they take forever to make a decision and you got tired of waiting on them and you're like, you know what? I'm out. That's why you walked. Somebody could be dealing with an Aquarius here. But somebody's trying to have hope. But I feel I feel like the other person, whoever messed up, this person is trying to have hope. But Capricorn, honestly, you're like, no, you left me out in the cold. I'm over it. Why should I even think about giving you another chance? Somebody could be dealing with a Libra here. I do feel like the truth is coming out if it hasn't already. Maybe they want to tell you they got out of some type of legal situation, but yeah, the truth is definitely coming out. 
Somebody's coming out of being frustrated here. Tell me more. But they feel like the situation isn't going to turn around. It's going to be the same old, same old. There's definitely a lot of conflict going on. But somebody has made a decision. And they're keeping quiet about it. I feel like, again, you guys may not be speaking right now. Or somebody could have blocked the other person. Just cut some type of communication out. But I do feel like this person wants to rush in to tell you something. But they're holding back. Or it could be a situation to where they've been trying to reach out. But y'all block this person. And they can't get through. So... <laughs> Yeah, it's like, y'all are over it. Y'all, this other person had uh, other options, basically. They had other options. You didn't like what you were seeing with them. And at this point, it's like, you know what? On the flip side, I don't know what else to do in this situation. So it's like, I got to drop it. Yeah, but the truth is definitely coming out, guys. Clarify the tower in reverse for Capricorn. Okay, Six of Pentacles with the Magician. Okay, yeah, this person is... <laughs> y'all got people praying for y'all again. <laughs> this person is trying to manifest you. They're trying to stay positive. They want to be with you bad. They want to come to rectify the situation here. They want to balance things out. They're ready to put in the work. For those that are worried about money, um, I feel like it's the other person, but definitely money is coming in. Oh, he's going to land on my arm. Okay. <laughs> See, I told y'all they want to balance out the situation. They're ready to put in the work because I do feel like at one point in time, Capricorn, you were the one always doing everything, whether it was uh, emotional support, financial support, just whatever. You were doing everything and this person just didn't put in the fair share of work because they were so busy entertaining other people. So now that you walked away from them 100% and they understand what they did because they had time to think and maybe this other person could have played them. Now they want to come back in like, oh my God, I'm sorry. Please take me back. You know, I'm going to put in the work. Okay, yeah, y'all make them put in that work, okay? Yeah, because this person was playing around. It's like you didn't have a happy home with them at all. And guess what? At this point, y'all are up late at night. Y'all, You guys are not worried about it. Y'all are coming out of being frustrated. Look at that. Queen of Pentacles is in reverse. Again, somebody could be dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn like yourself, Taurus, or a Virgo. But at the end of the day, I told y'all, y'all not worried about it. You guys are like, you know what? I dropped this situation. I'm not putting any more time, effort, or energy into it. I'm focused on myself. We're not doing this. Y'all about to make them big. <laughs> oh, they're about to grovel. <laughs> oh, you want me? Okay, prove it. We'll see. They're not playing with you guys. I feel like, yeah, they learned their lesson. Karma hit them. Ooh, the three of swords tried to jump out. Yeah, karma hit them. You can't expect to do people wrong and expect positive things to just take place in your life. So, yeah, they got hit with it, but I feel like they want to move forward with you. They want to tell you that, but again, you guys are looking at them like, mm -mm, I don't see anything improving. I told y'all the three of swords was trying to come out. Yeah, there's definitely a third party. It's still some type of third party situation going on. And, you know, y'all, third party doesn't necessarily have to be another man, another woman. It could be family, friends, just career, anything. Something was just stopping or blocking this, you know, connection. But, yeah, it's still, it's like, I thought like it's still lingering. Somebody had didn't really cut the other person off. Could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Hmm, there's a Taurus. Let me see what's going on. Tell me more. Okay. Ooh, okay. Ace of Pentacles. All right, so you guys are embodying the Queen of Wands. I do feel like you're trying to just remain positive no matter which way the outcome will go. But at the end of the day, when you look at this person, you still feel like there's not going to be a commitment. But the universe is trying to bless you with something, something that you've been hoping and wishing for. It could be that this person is trying to come in, trying to give you a gift. <laughs> I told y'all, y'all y'all not playing with this person. You want me? <laughs> let's see. <laughs> well, let's see. Tell me more. Yeah, they're back and forth, though. Um, they definitely want to come in and give you an offer, but they're scared because they feel like you guys are going to just turn it down. You're going to reject this offer because they were playing around. They hurt you, and they know they did. Okay, yeah. I feel like this person definitely has made a decision 
You know, they were thinking about things that took place in the past. And they're just remembering all the times that you guys have had. And at this point, it's like they really miss you. They want to give you an offer. They want to start over. They want to build something with you now. I'm telling y'all, this person, whoever they, you know, they were dealing with on the side, they arguing. It was a lot of conflict. This person, like, put them through it. And maybe this is what they were they needed in order to just appreciate you even more. That's why I said y'all about to make them big. <laughs> but yeah, there's definitely a lot of conflict here. Um, it could be unresolved conflict between the both of you guys. Is maybe you feel like you didn't get the whole truth. You don't really know everything, and that's why you're kind of side eyeing this person. Like, no, mm -mm, I don't, I don't know. <sighs> but they're frustrated. I feel like right now they're trying to clear up the obstacles things that are blocking you guys from being together but again somebody definitely they know what they want they made a decision but they're frustrated i feel like this is the other person they're frustrated they're not speaking up because i feel like they don't know how to approach you they don't know how to approach the situation but guess what the sun is here they want to give you happiness they feel like okay i'm done playing games i know i can make you know, this person happy, but they really do feel like you're not going to give them a new opportunity here. The high priestess, the way that she came out, it's like one minute, somebody's using their intuition, the next minute, they're not. Queen of Swords, somebody could be dealing with an air sign here, Aquarius, Gemini, or a Libra. I do feel like somebody's coming off really cold and harsh with their words, and Capricorn, that could be you. Maybe you're going in on this person because you don't believe them, you don't trust them, and that's why this person is scared to approach you, but when they do, they do want to offer you a commitment, but they know they have to take the time to rebuild because the trust isn't there. And look at that, there's the king. Look at the pair. Look, I told y'all somebody was trying to like block you guys from being together. Somebody is trying to stop this connection because I really do feel like this is a good connection between the two of you guys. That's why I said I don't know if it's soulmate, twin flame, but there's there's definitely some type of deep connection here. This person is sad because they feel like you're going to cut them off. You already cut them off, but they feel like they, there's not, they're not going to have another chance. Could be dealing with a Scorpio, but yeah, again, they feel like there's not going to be a new beginning here. But the truth is coming out. Somebody could be dealing with a Pisces here. Tell me more. Look at that. This person, it wants to come in to tell you basically everything that you guys built, they still wanted. Those seeds that were planted, they still wanted to grow, but you guys are like back and forth about it. With the Queen of Cups, again, somebody could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. I do feel like you guys are emotional right now. You're really sad because you care about this person. You love this person, but you're just tired of going through the, the BS, the nonsense. And so you're just holding back your emotions. You're tired of opening up to this person for them to just basically like like step on your heart like you're over it you feel like there's no security in the situation and that's why you're not moving forward with them cancer hmm that's interesting how all three water signs just came out so somebody could definitely be dealing with a water sign here but like i said you guys are not moving forward because you're feeling like the situation is not going to improve Somebody's in their head. It's a lot of back and forth energy here. Somebody's having a lot of mental anxiety trying to figure out what to do. And it honestly could be the both of you guys. Should I accept this person or should I just keep it moving? The other, other person could be, I really want to be with this person, but how do I go about, you know, stepping up to them because I messed up so bad? Do I buy them a gift? Do I <laughs> rub their feet? Like, what do I do? <laughs> they, they're like, somebody's in their head big time. Yeah. Somebody is carrying a burden here. I feel like they've been carrying the weight of the world on them. Could be you guys. Could be this other person. I feel like they're just guilty. Yeah. You guys are looking at them like, you know what? I can't do this anymore because at the end of the day, you need to clean up your act, change your behavior. And, you know, because it's been the same old, same old. I do feel like you guys have been dealing with this person again, like, for a while. And that's why you feel like you're not going to have a new beginning in a situation with them. Or it could be them feeling this way. Y'all know it's vice versa. Just take it however it fits for you. I'm like, something needs to come out now. Capricorn. <laughs> oh my 
my God, finally. Okay, yeah, so this person wants to come in really fast here. Again, I, they're wanting to rush in fast, but y'all y'all know what the Knight of Swords is. As fast as they can come in, they can leave right back, back out just as fast. So if they come back in giving you this offer of commitment, y'all, please make them work for it. Don't just accept them because, again, there was a lesson for everyone to learn. And honestly, across the board, what I'm just, I've been picking up with everybody's signs is just you guys need to put your foot down and set those boundaries. Okay, come on, y'all, like. y'all make a decision somebody say something <laughs> okay finally all right so somebody could be dealing with a water sign pisces cancer or scorpio but i do feel like somebody's definitely really emotional right now due to the fact that there was definitely a breakup here yeah and it's like somebody wants a victory but on the flip side they feel like they're not going to get it due to all the mess that this person has put them through all right, Capricorn, so that was your reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, yeah, so I posted in the community section earlier today that I'm not accepting any more readings until November 26th. Um, you guys can still email me. I can definitely, you know, schedule you, but it will not be until, you know, sometime that week. But I will leave my information in the description box. All right, guys, please leave me some comments. Let me know if this resonates for you guys, and I will talk to you soon.